you are asked what is x that means I want precise value or not precise value mod of x less than 2 can be satisfied by x is equal to minus 1 also 0 also 1 also etc etc so many values actually infinite values will satisfy it it's a range whenever there is a range infinite values will satisfy it decimals and so on so the first statement alone is not enough we will look at second statement alone mod of x is always to be written as either x or simple so let's write x is equal to 3x minus 2 or minus x is equal to 3x minus 2 x is equal to 3x minus 2 will give me 2x equal to 2 so x equal to 1 this will give me 4x is equal to 2 that is x is equal to 1 by 2 normally this is how my mind will think now and you are not wrong there if x is equal to 1 and 1 by 2 there is no precise value so I will try to combine it with the first statement and see mod of x is less than 2 but even 1 will satisfy and 1 by 2 will satisfy in both the cases mod of x will be equal to how much 1 or 1 by 2 so it will be less than 2 so what will be a final analysis x will be a unique value or not a unique value so most often we mark answer as e and you have not done a mistake I mean at your level you have not done a mistake let's just understand is x equal to 1 actually a valid solution just substitute please substitute x equal to 1 is it a valid solution yes or no 1 is equal to 3 minus 2 so yes is x is equal to 1 by 2 a valid solution please substitute and check 1 by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 so this is an invalid solution so the only solution that is valid is x equal to 1 can you tell me why is x equal to half not satisfying that equation some reason when do you say mod of x is equal to x and when do you say mod of x is equal to minus x in which condition when x is positive or 0 and mod of x equal to minus x precisely when x is negative it's this is how so when I consider mod of x is equal to minus x what was my assumption x is and what did I get x is half which is what positive so this betrays my assumption that's why this is never the correct root so the only correct solution to this one is x is equal to 1 and because it is coming from second statement my final answer is b no 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 mod of x is equal to minus x not x x will remain x always x does not change mod x changes okay. mod of x is equal to minus x not x is equal to minus x. so my final answer is b don't be surprised these are the traps that the gmat uses very commonly 